So emerging of a new pledge of allegiance to ISIL. This time it comes from a group of Uzbek militants in Afghanistan who have released a beheading video. CCTV's Daniel Renches reports. The Islamic movement of Uzbekistan has pledged allegiance to ISIL and stated it has stopped following Taliban leader Mullah Omar because he hasn't been seen for 13 years, according to a video posted online. ISIL's leadership in Iraq and Syria is pushing for a new province within its religious state it calls Khorasan, encompassing Afghanistan and Pakistan. Last month, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani warned the U.S. Congress that a withdrawal of American troops would provide an opportunity for the group to begin to realize its ambitions. Terrorist movements whose goal is to destabilize every state in the region are looking for new bases of operation. We are the front line. President Obama responded with a promise to slow the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan in line with Ghani's request. The newly released video, which we are not showing, includes the apparent beheading of a member of this minority group, the Hazaras. 31 of them were kidnapped from a bus in February, and the Uzbek terrorists are threatening to kill them all if unspecified demands aren't met. ISIL is also looking to recruit members of the Taliban who are unwilling to seek a peace deal with Afghanistan, according to analyst Rebecca Zimmerman. If those negotiations do start to go forward, they'll really be able to pick up fighters who aren't ready to stop fighting yet, to pick up the sort of uh, hardliners who are disillusioned with the Taliban for even considering seeking peace and forge them into something that's potentially more dangerous. The Uzbek group has also claimed responsibility for a deadly attack on an airport in the Pakistani city of Karachi last June. Despite that assault and this most recent beheading video, ISIL's penetration in this region is currently limited, though the scale of ISIL's ambition is clearly a cause for concern. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.